guys. Today we are going to build a DIY planter box out of cedar. And this is going to be using just common materials you get at your home improvement store. And the fun thing is, we're going to do it with minimal tools. So this thing's going to be about 30 inches wide, about 18 inches deep, and about 24 inches high. So let's go out and start making some sawdust and start cutting some wood. All right, our first cuts are going to be on the legs for this planter box, and I want them 24 inches tall, and I'm using a cedar 2x4. So let's mark out four of those at 24 and do some cut. All right, the sides and the bottom of this are going to be the cedar fence board, so it makes it really easy. I just picked up some six-footers at the hardware store. So we're going to cut these at 30 inches because that'll be our outside dimension for the length of this. Makes it really easy. All right, an easy trick for the bottom so you don't have to get out a table saw, even if you don't have one, is to make sure and make the width so you have three fence boards wide. So if you make sure that the base is that and build around that, that'll save you from having to make those extra cuts. All right, one more little tip here. Right on the bottom of the pieces here that you're going to cut out so you keep track of what your piles are. This one is the bottom. I'm just putting a simple B so I know what they are, since they're only a 16th difference than the sides. All right, a lot of these fasteners we're going to do from the inside, so this is going to really make this so they're kind of hidden. So what I'm going to do is get these 2x4s laid flat, and then I'm just going to set this up here so we get this spaced correctly. So this is going to be the front facing down, and I'm going to get these lined up here so we can put our screws in from the back side. So they're hidden. Just want to make sure we get these square and that we don't have any bad sides facing out. If anything, you want that wood facing in that is maybe not so pretty. So let's grade our lumber as best we can. I like that right there. Make sure we got these all squared up nice. All right, now that we get this squared up, I'm going to actually bump these two by fours out a half inch. So that way, when we come around to the sides, it hides that butt seam behind it so you never see it. So I'm going to add another half inch on the sides here. Just get that squared up. Use the front of your bench as a great squaring guide. It's a great way to do this. And you can uh, keep it straight that way. That way, we don't build something racked. So that way, I can hide those boards on the side there. And then I'm going to use these uh, inch and 5 8 screws and put four in each board here for a total of eight. So that is gonna be the front of the planter box. Now to make the back. All right, I got this upside down here, but it gives us a good chance to kind of mock up the bottom. I wanna make sure that we're using these three boards to their full width. So I'm gonna move these sides over here, kind of get this locked in where I want it so I can get the measurements for my two by twos that'll go in here. All right, let's build the bottom of the planter box here. So I'm going to take some glue on this piece that was 16 and a quarter. And this one I'm just going to leave right here for spacing. Now we can go ahead and get these squared up on here. Get these nicely put on here. That is nice and flush there. Set some screws in here. We'll be good to go. Now I like to pre-drill these just because these smaller pieces of dry cedar love to crack. The cedar's probably going to be wet most of the time, so it's good to have that little bit of glue in there to really hold this together. This keeps it from moving around. The screws will do great, but they can only do so much. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put those side pieces on there so we got a place for this to rest on so we can put this thing together. So let's put those corner blocks on here. All right, that's coming together. I want to show you one little trick that I did right here. You can see it. I actually made this base about a half inch to three eighths short. So that way, if we get a lot of water buildup in here, it has a place to go without putting a bunch of holes in the bottom of this. So that way, this doesn't end up being a big swimming pool. This cedar can kind of swell up and seal up pretty well. So I wanted to make sure if this gets overwatered, that water's got a place to go. All right, guys, I'm going to slide this right side up again so I can get those end boards on here, and we'll be getting close to being done. All right, so we got the box together. There's one last finished piece I want to do. As you notice, this is not really finished here. So I'm going to do a one by four around the top side of here that's basically just a simple fence board that we'll miter and put around the outside. So that way, it's got a really nice finished top. Let's go to the saw. All right, let's build this picture frame. So we're going to use some glue and screws on this. 
It's a place that I could use finished nails, but uh, I'm going to try to get the screws to hold it together a little bit better. Just going to get some good glue on this to help hold this together. I'm going to start kind of picture framing these together with some screws. What I want to do is I want to take this, get this joined together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drill this first so I can get this attached correctly because I don't want this to move around too much. These miters love to move. This will get all locked down to the very top of this, but I'd like to get this held together with these screws first. I'm going to do one more right down here. All right. Now there's our picture frame top. Let's put it right on top of the box. All right, guys. Here we are. We got all the plants in here. This thing is ready to go. And the thing is, this time of spring, this is one of those things that the plants are a little small. But in another month, this is going to be just overflowing with color. This is a DIY project I know you can tackle, and this will fit anywhere you call home.